No, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or went through this or is gonna go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I think that what what's gonna separate whoever's going try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. On this episode right here, I'm gonna give you a double whammy. I'm gonna give y'all some free game and some real good game that can take your earning potential all the way up there to that next level. Cause I know a lot of us right now, especially in this day and age with the inflation and the economy being the way it is, we could all use some extra money, right? And now the majority of people, the only thing they know is how to work a nine to five, how to go apply to ask somebody if they can work for them, if they can uh, get $15 an hour for their time or $20 an hour. And you know, that's one recipe of making bread for sure, for sure. And I'm not knocking nobody on no nine to five, been nine to five but in this video right here we're gonna go over ways for people who want to make some more money and if you had a criminal record or you know you just got out or almost even to what i would do if i had just got out and made to wanted to make my first 100k maybe that's what i'm gonna call this video how i would make my first 100k fresh out today or something like that i'm gonna play around with that but nonetheless that's a topic we're gonna cover but if that interests you right there and you about to peep this video man do me a favor man good my good friend over there Hit me with a like, hit me with a like for the video before we even get too deep in this thing right here because that's gonna let me get this video out to more people that's like you, that want the information and we, we can help and we can impact more people by doing this right here. So hit me with the young like if you'd be so kind. Make sure y'all uh, sub up to the channel to see more and more of these videos. And if you're really rocking with your boy, you know, we got the merch on deck. Go getters worldwide, front and back. This thing look a little young, but you know, your boy got muscles. Yeah, you know, it's one thing to be swole when y'all young cats is 20, 25. I'm gonna see y'all when y'all get my age at 40, though. I'm gonna see how y'all hanging in there when you get up here. Cause you know, it ain't always about the money, right? It's about that health. If you don't have that health, you ain't gonna have no wealth. What you gonna do with all that money and you can't even spend it? You gonna be old and you gonna be young with a sick, but in the hospital bed? Man, come on, come on. Your health is your real wealth. And I know that sounds cliche as ever, but nonetheless, real truth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So for all y'all that are new to the channel, of course, I've been incarcerated myself. You know, I'm not ashamed of it. You know, I, I don't live with no regrets behind it, even though I know I shouldn't have had to go that direction and went that direction and spent that much, much time out of my life to be, you know, stranded behind, you know, them concrete walls and all that. But, uh, you know, a big piece of that helped make me who I am today. So I can't really take too much away. I wish I, wish I would have started younger on the path that I've been on now then had to wait all the way so late into my life. But uh, God worked in some mysterious ways. And nonetheless, if I didn't go through all that and become who I am today, I couldn't be here making this video to share some of this game with y'all. But uh, for y'all that are new to the channel, yeah, I was incarcerated 11 and a half years in the Colorado Department of Corrections. I got out 2014 on 2014. Man, I ain't never took no days off. There was never no vacation time, get out here, party, and you know, throw confetti in the air and feel like I had already made it, nah, nah, nah. It was never that type of thing. I mean, it felt good, don't get me wrong. Them feelings that after 11 and a half of not using no computers, seeing no family, uh, you know, being self-sufficient, you know, none of that stuff, that, that, that shit was, you know what I mean? But when I got out, luckily I had already secured a job at a construction place so like my second day out, I was already working. And you know, the, the good thing for me is I was able to work in that construction job, but be able to get out of the field and come up in the office and start working in the office. And ultimately I worked a nine to five for almost about two years, I would say two strong years. And I was always the first one in, last one out. You know, I wanted to work as many hours. I worked on the weekends, you know, if they had some other places. So I'd be out in the field too here and there. You know, but I'd have to catch, I'd have to catch a project or something when they needed it. But nonetheless, you know, it's essential for these businesses that we're gonna cover or ways to make money we're gonna cover, shall I say, for you to have a cash flow 
before you even start this. This ain't some, none of this stuff right here is just starting with zero in your pocket right here. You know, you can have zero in your pocket, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to figure a way to get some cash flow, nine to five, something. You're gonna have to have some money to be able to put on this because this is gonna be an investment in yourself first and foremost. So nonetheless, you know, I did two years of working at a nine to five and it was good. You know, I had a great work environment, people I worked around the whole nine. But uh, one part about that was I was hitting the ceiling. I could only go up so much more in uh, hourly pay, you know, every review quarter and so forth, so forth. So for that, that was a big deterrent for me because, you know, being fresh out, having bills already with the UA and so forth, so forth, you know, I need, I need a, a living standards. I'm gonna increase my living standards. I got to make more money and it'd be, it would mess me up because I get a paycheck. And, you know, that should be gone like immediately, you know, back Monday, I'd be down to having lunch money. You feel me? So always looking at my bank account and just wishing there was like large amounts in there, hundreds. And back then money felt way different too. It felt like, you know, like, uh, you know, like a thousand dollars really went somewhere. You know what I mean? But good lord thank god for for being where i am today you know because even where i'm not I'm, even though i'm not where i want to be today i'm thankful because i dreamed about being to where i'm at right now you feel me but with a nine to five you can create a cash flow and if y'all don't know i worked that two years year and a half into that job i started doing drop shipping i had learned about it while i was incarcerated by reading a book my mom has sent me called the four hour work week by timothy ferris and in this book right here he details how how he he started a, a vitamin business he took the vitamin business and was able to uh scale it to multiple millions of dollars but the great thing about the book and about what it was talking about and they were drop shipping was that the person like him wasn't holding the inventory he had a another supplier that would he could just ship orders to and they would slap a label of his stuff on there and shoot it out so he never had a hold the inventory and this drop shipping method could be done with any and all kinds of products basically right anything that you can think of so for me being fresh out this this right here was a, a go-to because the way i looked at it i could sell any product in the world that's all i gotta do is sell any product in the world i want if i could find it on online and, and resell it and all I needed to do was sell it to 10 people a day to have the lifestyle, to have the income that I wanted. And how hard would that be knowing that on the internet, right, on your phone, right, you could talk to, see anybody. I mean, the whole world is literally in your, in your, in your, in your hand, right? So for me, that was always ideal. I mean, it wasn't out of my, I'm a real, like, uh, realist type of person i like to i like to stay in, in reality i don't like to sometimes it works to it works against me because i don't think outside the box or think too big as i should be but being based in reality that, that wasn't too far-fetched didn't sound like no scam it didn't sound like something that couldn't be done so drop shipping always appealed to me so i had started getting information online uh, watching youtube videos and all that stuff and i mean shit, you know with anything that you learn you got to execute that's the biggest piece of the equation you can learn some shit, you can read a book and, and be book smart real quick but if you're not applying none of that knowledge that you just read right there is is is, is just useless it's just sitting in your brain doing nothing you feel me so nonetheless i got out executed year and a half into the bit uh the nine to five i was put my money into the business you know first store i made it didn't do shit i burnt up a gang of money marketed to like thailand uh all these other places and shit like that but uh you know a lot of lessons were learned in those failures of that business right there i think that lasted me like two or three months and I, you know, I, I had a real good relationship with my boss at the time. And, and I had told him, you know, what I had started up was this. And, you know, he'd be like, good luck with your little store, your little store. And I was always thinking like, damn, one day this store gonna get me, gonna have me on the next level. And all praise to God, one night I was, I was thumbing through Facebook and I seen a post and it had a product that caught my eye on there. And it was like, damn, this thing right here is motherfucking fire. Like this is this is some new age shit, and I could tell by how many people had liked it, shared it, and all that good stuff right there that this was a winning winning product. So I got on my little thing, searched it, found it, found me a supplier. I mean, this is the first skill we're gonna get into here. I mean, is gonna be about drop shipping, but this this is a, a, how I made my first hundred thousand. So you know, 
I seen that product, found it there, made a website real quick, popped the product. Matter of fact, I already had a website already and I added it to it because it was like a, it was a general store of different kind of products that I was testing. And we'll get further into that in this video, but ultimately that product, I made that thing, went to sleep and I woke up the next day with like $600 with orders already because I put the ads on, kicked it on, woke up the next day and I all, with, with the app that I was using, it's called Shopify. All I would hear is these ka chings ka chings ka -chings. And I tell you these notifications of hearing the money just hit, hit the bank account, bam, ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. Like this shit right here, man, ain't no, ain't no feeling like that. That Wi-Fi money, that is some next level shit right there. And you know it it it, re, it, re, it changes your whole mind state when you think about when you think about how money is being made. You know, there's an exchange of your life, an hour of it, for fifteen dollars, or there's the, the sales method where there's infinite potential to make infinite amounts of dollars. And I mean, you don't got to trade off an hour of your time. Because think about what is an hour of your time really worth, though, right? $15, 25, man, some of y'all making 50. I mean, if you're a lawyer, you might be making 500. Now 500, it's, it's hard to turn down, right? That's a, but to think 20, 30, 50 for an hour of your life that you can't get back and you spend that whole day of your life at work and come home and flop and don't even, you don't even pour into yourself. You don't even, you ain't even, you know, you just keeping the, you just keeping the gas in the car. You feel me? Like, Man, there's so much more to life, and you know, buying back your freedom by being having being able to have earning potential and earn. You know, that's that's where money comes into. Money do be buying freedom and happiness. It, you know, maybe not for some, but for your boy right here, yeah, I'm money motivated. I'm I'm freedom motivated. That's what that's what get me going. But uh, none, nonetheless, though, you know, I start hitting them kachings, boom, kaching, kaching, kaching. Now, these kachings right here kept going, kept going, and kept going. And I had knew I had found a winning product. Now, product went viral on Facebook, and I still got it on a general store. So the, the method that I always learned was when you test out products and you find a product that work, you gotta make a single store for it. You gotta take that product and you make one store for it and you put motherfucking you know what I mean? One that one product and add the accessories to it and make it dialed in as a brand for that one product. And that's what I did. I switched it over. Needless to say, cut the story short. I grossed that year and I started doing this in like June or July. And I feel like June, July, August, yeah, somewhere around the end of July, August is when these when I really started hitting it. But when the end of the year came, I had already grossed like 600K. It, for for y'all don't don't understand that's gross profit. Growth that means without the without my expenses and all that stuff factored in. After after that, I netted a nice little amount. I ain't gonna tell y'all how much, but I netted a nice little amount in that short bit of time, and that had changed my whole game for my frame of mind about how making money. Needless to say, I stopped working at the nine to five. I put my two weeks in, and it was. It was a, it was it was it was a bittersweet goodbye because, like I said, I work with good people, with people that I enjoy being around, that I would deem like family, and you know, but you know, and they poured a lot into me. You know, they 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 believed in me. They knew I had just got out, but they had seen and believed the potential in me, and I'll forever be indebted to them for that right there because, you know, but. I had to go though, you know what I mean? It was only it was only right because I had to get to the next level. And the next level was having my own online store that was producing income. So needless to say, I have I've made a couple of good mill off a line, you know, over the years.
I don't know. You know, for me, I'm thankful every morning I wake up because I mean, I still got potential and ways to take it to the next level. But by no means am I where I want to be as of yet. You feel me? But I'm I'm, I'm humbled and I'm thankful. You know that uh, once again that the, the opportunities have have arisen for me to learn these skill sets and be able to be profitable and be able to have my time and my life back. Cause you know, my worst fear now is to go back and ever have to go work for a nine to five. I would hate to have to go back and work for a nine to five ever again, ever since I've had this freedom and this luxury, boy, but that's the shit that keep me up early in the morning. That shit keeps me uh, going through the day to make sure that I'm productive and on top of it because, you know, I don't want it to ever be like that. So I know nobody's coming to save me. I know I can't I can't wait for no PPP money. I know I can't wait for nobody else to come help me a homeboy, give me an idea, show me how it's done. I got to get up every morning and I got to go after what I want. Hence the name, hence the username, go get it right. So, you know, for me, yeah, you got to really go after what you want. And and, I, and like I said, I ain't had no vacation day since I got out, man. I got out and got on it and I've been on it and I've been, man, I ain't letting my foot up off the pedal, even though I feel like this last season I've been in have been more about like a, you know, like a healing in a, in a, a healing and a growth season for me because, you know, I switched, I switched locations from Colorado out here. And, you know, you know, I've been switching. I've been switching up the program basically, so it's much needed. You know, coming out of a place like Denver to decompress and you know be able to water some new seeds and come to it. But yeah, today's first uh, way that I would say for somebody to make a hundred thousand fresh out the pen, or locked up, or you know, just somebody that just is technical online. Because needless to say, you will have to be you will have to be tech savvy to do any of these things. But the first one is going to be drop shipping and now. Is drop shipping dead? You hear that shit all the time. People say drop shipping is dead. Drop shipping will never die because it's just online commerce. This way, one product is shipped. Now, the kicker with drop shipping is, is finding a product and finding one that has the the right the right profit margin for you to be financially uh, uh, a winner when it comes to selling these products because you want to make twenty to fifty, if not more, per item that you sell online. And one of the main things you will need to have an online store, whether it's drop shipping or selling your own product, is Shopify. Shopify is your number one place to go to. And with Shopify, you're gonna be able to process credit cards, you're gonna be able to load products, put the pictures, allow them to have add to cart, and you'll also be able to build the website for all this to function together, all with inside this app. So it's, it's a go-to for everything that you need to do. Now, to actually source the products in, in Dropship, that's another ball game. So when you're looking for a winning product, you can use an app like CJ Dropshipping that plugs right into Shopify and has a bunch of products on there. But, you know, personally for me, I look at all over. I look at Amazon bestsellers. I look all over the Internet for ideas of how to find a winning product. But this one has the suppliers. They ship it. They do all that stuff for you. But another one that I really like is Alibaba. Not AliExpress, but Alibaba. You can find everything you can think of. Neon signs, you know, uh, backpacks, you know, custom-made carpets like these backwood ones right here. Look, and they cheap. Look at the product markup. So you just message the suppliers on here, but Alibaba.com for this one right here. And like you said, look at that. Grinders. You got all kinds of stuff. I mean, good Lord, you could you could drop ship a food truck off this thing. So once you found a product, you would have just get on here and message a, a supplier and just say, hey, hi, my name is so forth. Uh, I'm interested in this product right here. If I was to send you X amount of these, would you be able to drop ship these? And usually more, more than likely they can all say yes. Uh, if they don't just find another one, I'm usually, but you can find any product on here, anything like that. And there's other ways to drop ship that ain't from China. You can find other uh, suppliers, but that's part of the work you have to put in. I can't just give you that. But nonetheless, I will be opening up a master class here at the end of September. So just check out gogetter.com. But when you're watching this video, uh, there should be a waiting list that you can sign up. And in that master class right there, it's going to be a free master class. I'll go over all that in depth with you and show you how that's done. But right now, this video is just to spark some idea, get, give you some uh, insight before the video gets too, too long on ways that you can really make money online. Because being online, you know, it don't, it don't, it don't care about you.
you white, black, Mexican, if you got a criminal record, if you're a woman. Nah, what it wants to know is all, all, all the, it just wanna know if you can do the job. Can you show up and do A plus B plus C and show up and do that repetitively day after day after day? If you're one of them people that can do that, then, then success is in your future. But if you're one of the people that be like, ah, oh, this is probably a scam, or not, it's too much, or oh, I don't, I don't know uh, technology, well then shit, this ain't for you and you lost and you're probably better off than showing up to that nine to five and you know maybe scratching a lottery ticket because you know effort and re to get to get results you got to put effort into it that's with anything in your life working out you know uh learning anything increasing income like we said a nine to five is just a, a, a recipe one recipe to make bread how you go to the the, the, the grocery store look at the bread aisle how many loaves and different recipes of bread is there this is another recipe right here so yeah, drop shipping would be number one that I would say right there. And then second would be learning the stock market. Second would be learning how to trade options, contracts, whether they're daily contracts as of like just today, or intraday, or swing trading, and understanding that how these charts work and what they mean and how those little candlesticks right there work right there. That that right there, if you've got money and you've got if you've got a cash flow. This is your best, I would say, your best skill set to learn right here to be able to flip your money that you've already got into more money. Now, don't get it wrong. There's, there's a high possibility of losing as well. So this is this is why I say do the drop shipping first and then venture into this. But you know, if you if you comfortable with uh, taking a few L's here and there for a few wins, then day trading's for you. Me, I'm a person. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna fight every time you see me. You feel me? Win, lose, or draw. I'm gonna show up. I'm there by all means. No question about it so for me i take an l i know how to i'm on a level where i can where I, I've, I've taken so many l's already you know what i mean this is just another small little uh speed bump on the equation so nonetheless if you kind of got that mind state drive shipping i mean uh day trading is definitely for you but what you need to do is understand this is the a money printer right here when you're in the stock market. This is how the rich people really make more money and make more money with their money. They're literally printing money every day based on if the stock goes up or if the stock goes down. So my second thing for somebody being fresh out or, uh, you know, having a criminal record or, you know, you know, just want to make money from their phone would be day trading the stock market. That by far is probably one of the best bets you could do right there now you could you could skip the day the 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 e-commerce stuff right there if you don't if you don't if you're not tech savvy and you've already got bread and you got a, a cash flow day trading is your is your best bet to take your bread and take it to the next level but i mean i wouldn't know these are just my last little uh two days of trading right here because i only traded two times this week right here but i mean it's a cool little piece of change right there by all means but you know at the end of the day i don't want to come across on this video of bragging or doing better than anybody literally i just want to make this video to put some game in y'all's ear about how to make some bread you know if you got some free time you know usually this stuff right here is what you do after your nine nine to five you know, it's not about your, your nine to five. It's about what you do from five to fucking 11, 12, one o'clock at night. That's what really count. How you really being productive with that real free time. Whether that, that you're going to be in front of your employer working and working and working and asking permission to take a day off. Nonetheless, though, these would be my best bets for y'all right here to be able to get financially free and make 100K, you know, you know, be free. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. For me, this this is, you know, I'm thankful every day I wake up. You know, I, I came from that cell. I know what that cell like. I know what that celly like. I know what them, them steel doors slamming and opening sound like. I know what that intercom sound like. You know, I know all about all that stuff. And, you know, that's engraved in me. But the same thing is I'm still regimented and institutionalized in a sense where you know the structure in my day is what paves my way every day you feel me i don't go a day without making progress in the areas that matter and i hope you don't either i hope that you stay on top of it and i hope you hit the pedal and take yourself self to the next level but uh you know if you got questions to any of this stuff right here you know let me know in the comments below Hit your boy with a like though if you done made it this far if you done heard all that and you done soaked up some of that game right there come on one time hit that hit that thing for your boy but uh yeah i'm gonna make more videos on this stuff going forward uh like i said master class coming real soon into this month right here and uh shit, i hope y'all have a good rest of your day i'm out